Hi, my name is Chris with Aceta, and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly maintain your M10 and M20 IA robots. Three things that we'll talk about before we actually get into applying grease and oil to our robot is one, uh, be sure that you take backups of your robot before you start this. Links to that, to those videos that we provide are, will be in the description below. Next, we're gonna talk about positioning. So Fanuc does have a recommended position that your robot should be in. Right now, the, what you're seeing here is uh, called zero position. Your robot should be in this position to properly oil and grease your robot. Lastly, uh, as we go through this video, if at any point, anything that I explain doesn't make sense, please do reach out to us at, on our website at uh, aceta.com or by calling our phone line at 844-4-ACETA. First thing you're gonna be doing is you're gonna look for your inlet and outlet on the, for every axis. On the J1 axis, you, there is a uh, bolt here that will be for your inlet and then you will push grease with your grease gun through the zerk and that grease should come out of underneath the motor, underneath here. On J2, you will insert grease through this port here for your inlet. Grease will start to come out of your outlet hole here. Once clean grease starts coming out, you will actually stop pushing grease, put your plug back in and pull this plug towards the back and then push grease through this side as well. Underneath for J3, the Zerk is going to be inserted underneath J3 here and will come out the side on this side on J3. That's your outlet. For J4, there's actually a sight glass he located here that you can see whether or not your oil is good still. Um, Fanuc recommends that if that sight glass is dirty to go ahead and maintain and change that grease out or that oil. That oil uh, will come out underneath this cover, so this cover will need to be removed. Um, and then the outlet uh, is on top of J4. For the J4 gearbox on this robot, the inlet is actually located here. Um, so you will pull this plug out, oil will then start to come out, and then you will wait for the, all of the oil to be drained out of this robot. After which all the oil has, uh, all the dirty oil has come out, you will put your fill point is here and there you will insert bonnet oil in through this port here. Once you've started pushing oil through that that filler point on the bottom of J4 gearbox, the oil will come out through this plug here. This plug should be removed before inserting grease through that inlet port. For your wrist, there's another sight glass located here on the side of this robot and for the M20. Um, your inlet is going to be back here on the J4 arm. You will pull this plug out. Oil will start to, to come out of that port. At which point, once all the oil has come out, you can then insert your uh, device to fill with oil here. And your outlet is gonna be on the top side of J5 and J6. You'll have a collection cup, which is a special D tool that Fanuc does provide, uh, that comes out, that will be plugged into here, and then oil will come out of this point. At which point, once there is no air bubbles and you have filled up the uh, wrist entirely, you'll be able to check the sight glass uh, to make sure that there is enough oil in that axis, at which point you are good to go. After you've pushed grease and, and have put oil into your robot, Fanuc does recommend that you run your robot uh, for at least 10 to 20 minutes with both your inlet plug and outlet, uh, your inlet and outlet plugs out of the robot. Um, and so have your robot run uh, production uh, and that will alleviate any extra pressure buildup in your, in your uh, reducers. After which, uh, after your robot has ran, um, we do recommend that we, we change the batteries. And the batteries are located in the base of your robot. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that now. The one thing you wanna make sure of is that you make sure that the, the power to the robot stays on when changing these batteries in the base of the robot. The way we remove our batteries from our, our robot base here is I will go ahead and remove this cover, um, which is spring loaded. And one thing you want to remember when you go and put this cover back on is that these uh, screws are a little delicate. So you want to make sure that you're applying uh, adequate uh, pressure to them, but not over, over tightening them. 
Um, I can simply pull on this. This will remove every battery out of there. On the inside of our battery box, there are uh, stamps on here on the polarity of the battery that needs to be reinserted. So we'll insert that correctly. Two positive and two negative will go in here. After which, put my cover back on. Be sure that the label, the FANUC label, points towards the bottom of the base. We will reinsert that. I like to get it started, so that way the box is holding it. And again, as I'm tightening this down, I'm gonna make sure it's just snug. Uh, you don't wanna over tighten it as those bolts can, or screws can snap the heads off. And that is changing the batteries on the base of your robot. If your PM is done yearly, um, that's great, but FANUC does recommend that you change the batteries in the base of your robot once a year. The very last thing we're gonna do with our FANUC robot is we're gonna replace the RAM battery. Now the RAM battery is located in the controller, and so depending on the safety requirements at your facility, please do continue to follow those safety protocols. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna power off the robot here by just taking and flipping the disconnect, and then we're gonna to go to our main power source for that robot, and we're gonna turn that off as well, just to make sure that there's no power coming into our controller. After that, we're gonna grab our uh, flathead screwdriver and unlock the door. Once I've unlocked the door, I'm gonna rotate the disconnect to the left. You'll feel a pop from the disconnect, and I will then, uh, that will allow the door to open. That battery is located on the main board, which is located here, and that RAM battery sits right here. Um, to remove that battery, there is no special uh, specialty tool or anything like that. Uh, with a firm grip, uh, you will grab close to the connector and give it a gentle pull out. After that has come out, uh, you can then take and replace this battery with a new battery. Um, and the way you took it out, the same way you put it back in. So I will go ahead and insert the battery into the holder. And then I will take the connector being sure that it's inserted the correct way, and then I will gently push that back in to its home. You have about 30 minutes to change this battery, so do be sure that your robot has been powered on for a while as you don't wanna lose any of the contents on your robot. And if you do, links in the description below to re, uh, perform a image restore will be in there as well. Once you have finished replacing that RAM battery, go ahead and close the door up, and that concludes uh, greasing, oiling, replacing the batteries in your M10 and M20 robot. If you do have any further questions, do re feel free to reach out to us on our website at aceta.com or by phone 844-4-ACETA.